I am Zach Smith from Route 113 Boat Sales and this is the Cobia 280 Dual Console. This boat's finished in azul blue and powered by twin custom painted F250 Yamahas that we paint to match the top sides of the boat. Why don't you guys climb aboard and let's take a look at it. Welcome aboard the Cobia 280 Dual Console. We're going to start this walkthrough up in the bow. All the way up forward here, we have a pop-up nav light in the center, so when you're tied up at the slip, there's no chance of ripping your bow light off. Right next to that, we have two chrome circles, one here and one here. Those are for your pop or your uh, boarding ladder, your bow boarding ladder, which stows in this compartment here, which makes boarding and disembarking from the bow easy if you're at the sandbar or something like that. Right next to that, we have our windlass compartment. Inside of our windlass compartment, we have a raw water wash down here for getting sand, muck, debris off your anchor. Our windlass is located right there and all of our road is right below it. There's also a cleat located in there so you can tie the anchor off once you've anchored. On the subject of cleats, we have two cleats, one on each side. We have two JL Audio speakers here. We have four cup holders in the bow for bow out uh, bow occupants. We have two fold down armrests for people seated in the bow. Underneath of my feet is a table base. That table can come up to a day bed level and there's a cushion that goes in here so you can turn the whole bow into a bed or it comes up to table level if you want to have a picnic or something like that on the water. Moving back we have our windshield. It's a big glass windshield that flips over, folds down, and then you have a wall here that partitions the entire cockpit off from the weather, rain, anything like that, cold, you want to keep your uh, occupants warm and dry, shut this all off and it makes a really nice experience for everybody riding, even in inclement weather. The windshield also has a windshield wiper with a windshield washer. So you can spray it clean while you're wiping and it'll help get the salt off of the windshield and keep your field of view clean. That wraps up the bow of the 280. We're gonna move on back here to the cockpit and take a look at a few more things. Moving to the helm area of the Cobia 280 dual console. Um, really nice command center for running the boat. This boat was rigged in-house by our excellent uh, rigging department. We have an 8616 flush mounted in the dash here. Right below that we have our Edson steering wheel with tilt helm. We have our Bennett trim tab controller we have our windlass control right here, Optimus 360 uh, gauge with autopilot controls built in below there. Moving to the right, we have the binnacle which falls easily to hand with trim controls on it. Right in front of that, we have our Optimus 360 joystick with C station heading sensors. So you can press these A and C buttons and it'll hold you exactly where, you're, where you press the buttons. Coming to the left here, we have our push to start for our Yamahas and our single key for our Yamahas. Coming around to the right, we have our Fusion control head. Most of this is run through the Garmin. You can actually access the entire Fusion stereo right through there, but this is just a quick access if you want to turn the volume up or down or skip channels. Right behind that, we have our Yamaha 6YC information station. This has engine RPM, fuel burn, all that kind of stuff right there and is also integrated into the Garmin so you can do it on there. Right below that we have our VHF radio. This boat's rigged with a VHF 315. We do that to free up dash space so that we can accommodate a 16 inch screen. The captain also has a compass right in the line of sight which is nice. Right below that we have a little glove box. Inside of there we do have a USB charger. Switch panels right above the joystick. All of our switch gear is right there. Breakers and all the electronics stuff are down inside the console, so if you have anything that stops working, check that breaker panel. Also, next to the captain, we have a JL Audio speaker and a cup holder that's going to be hard to see on this video. Moving around to the side from there, we have our battery switch panel. So again, we have our port start, starboard start, house, and emergency parallel, as well as all of our breakers for our 24-hour circuits, and then our power steering breakers across the bottom. Right above that we have our power sunshade. This is how you extend or retract the power sunshade right here with these two buttons. The captain's chair that I'm standing in front of here is power operated. 
you have switches down below here that move it forward and aft and up and down. That pretty much wraps up the helm area, so let's take a look at the passenger compartment. Moving over into the passenger compartment of the 280 dual console, inside of here we have our head. This pops open. Inside of there we have a toilet. It's all backlit. It has courtesy lights, a mirror, sink, Corian countertops, toilet paper holder, and this is an overboard discharge or pump out uh, head. It has a holding tank built into the boat for it. That shuts and latches right there. Coming around here, we have our JL audio speaker for the passenger. We have our seat here. This seat opens up. And inside of there, we have our battery compartment. There's four batteries in there, two start, one house, and one inverter battery. Everything is labeled. Everything has a home. It's easy to find out hooking stuff up and swapping batteries out where all the wires go. Just clip that back up and shut it down. This backrest is currently in the up position if you want to sit here facing forward or aft. But if you pull this tab out on the side, this will fold forward into a day bed. And then now you can see we have two cup holders there, two cup holders in the back, and a little storage cubby on the side. And then inside of here we have a cooler. Right now it's just being used as storage, but it is an insulated cooler for drinks, stuff like that. Moving back to the kitchenette area on the 280 dual console, we have a couple party tricks here. Underneath this Corian countertop, we have our Kenyan electric grill. This is a 110 grill. It runs off of an inverter located inside of the kitchenette. On the front side here, we have two removable cup holders. This can be used as a little ice well. Keep drinks cold. This slides back down and shuts to the bow of that. We have our fresh water sink with a removable piece of cori in there. And then right behind that, we have our champagne core that will hold the bottles straight up and you can ice them down and keep everything cool. On the front side here, we have our Dometic refrigerator. This is a 12 volt refrigerator, so we'll work without the inverter. Right above that, we have our Kenyan grill control. And then our onboard systems inverter indicator, which lets you know if you're running off of a 12 volt inverter or shore power. It also has a warning light there in case there's an issue. Down inside of here, we actually have our inverter and our 110 breaker panel on that back wall. In the back of the 280 dual console, you can see there's plenty of room back here for fishing with the seats folded up and stowed. Uh, we have six rod holders on each side of the tower legs and then coming over here we have two cup holders built in here this flips up and this folds out on the back side and the front side we have two 12 volt receptacles one there and one on the front this folds back down and becomes a nice seat on the back side here you have a similar party trick this lifts up this folds out and up to allow for another, uh, really a couch, uh, if, if I'm honest, seating in the back here. So with all the seating up, you've got plenty of room for entertaining family and friends. And then when you fold it back up, back into the wall and flip down, it's stowed. And what I like about this, it stows cushion side in. You see a lot of boats that flip down with the cushion out. And the problem with that is if you are fishing back here, you can get hooks caught in it and ruin your cushion. With the fiberglass side out, you don't have that issue. We're going to flip this guy back up too, so lift that. It's amazing how easy this is. Folds down again, cushion side in to protect the cushion. We have two in-deck fish boxes, one on each side that flip over and open. These are macerated, they're pretty large, and they drain directly overboard. You have one on the port and one on the starboard. Right here, we have one of our table bases, so you can put another table back here for picnicking on the water. Coming over to this side, we have, yet again, the other fish box right here. Again, macerated, drains directly overboard. And these are insulated. If you notice, the lids are actually sweating because they're holding in all that moisture and all that cool, cool air. Underneath of this 
covering board. This boat was not optioned with the second seat. You can get another seat on this side, just like the other side. It was not, so you have rod storage under here, along with another courtesy light. And then moving up front here on the front of the uh, kitchenette, or back of the kitchenette, I should say, we have our fresh and raw water wash down, along with our shore power hookup, which is right there. 30 amp plug, the cord is included with the boat. Coming across the back, we have five rod holders here. This boat is optioned with the ski pylon right here. And we have a deep live well over on this side. Down in there. It's painted blue to keep the fish happy. In the floor area, we have our bilge access. We have two fuel water separators located right here, nice and easy to get to. We have our freshwater tanker right front there, and we have our live well pump right there. Everything is really easy. It's, it's big, it's open. You can actually get to stuff, which is refreshing if you've ever worked on a boat through a six inch pie plate. That drops back down, twists and locks. All the way on the back here, we do have our twin Yamaha F250s. We build all of our 280 dual consoles with the F-250 options. The boats ride better, they handle better, they perform better with a little bit more weight on the transom. This boat has the all-new, all-electric Optimus uh, steering ramp. So this is a sealed system. There's no hydraulic fluid here, so you'll never have any leaks. It's basically a worm gear that runs back and forth to steer the engines. That wraps up the walkthrough of the Cobia 280 dual console. Thank you guys for watching. I do have a much more in-depth 280 DC owner's manual, which I'll link below in the bio. Thank you for watching as always. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. We're going to go ahead and get out of here.